Hey everyone, it's Karen from Makeup and Beauty Blog, and I'm here at the new Mac Pro Store at 45 Powell Street in San Francisco with Victor Semblin. <laughs> um, we're gonna do something kind of historic today. We're gonna do the very first makeover here in the store, so really excited to be yes, part of that. Yes, you're the first one. I know, <laughs> so, and I'm just gonna let Victor go crazy. He was like, what do you wanna do? I'm like, go crazy. So we're gonna do a little makeover, talk about the store, and um, hope you guys enjoy this video. that and I'm sure obviously you've used it before in the past yes I have I but, talk about it all the time oh my gosh it's so good because it's so sort of flexible and aqueous and just really really skin like and I think obviously in terms of trend everyone's trying to achieve that look where the makeup doesn't look topical or cosmetic -y or like I'm you know like you went to the makeup store and got your makeup done mm -hmm. so there's an authenticity to face and body that's just beautiful it's the most commonly used uh, foundation in terms of fashion week and editorial because it really reads on camera and in person like real skin so I'm just kind of working this brush uh, the sponge rather really quite quickly and just if you want to basically blend things out you sort of pull them out of the area or if you want to build coverage you just tap 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 and what I like here's a little trick for you is that underneath the eye I'll use a little light layer of face and body because then when you put your concealer on top it doesn't look as sort of heavy or concealery because it's got the cushiony face and body before. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to try that one for sure. Yeah, so it's a really good way to not look like you're wearing too much concealer, but it allows you to add more concealer. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we love that, right? Totally. And I'm gonna keep it really light. So we are gonna do a bigger makeup and I wanna have it be a little flashy and fun with some little MAC flares here and there. Nice. But I think what's great is that if you keep your skin light mm -hmm. and then do a heavier makeup, it still kind of balances it out mm -hmm. without looking overly like makeup and foundation and bells and whistles and sparkles. So we're gonna keep the skin really light, but then do like a fun eye makeup. Sounds good. Cool. Love balance, love fun eye makeup. Yes. We're gonna move right into Pro Longwear Concealer. Another one of my faves. Yes. Yeah. This guy's great. In fact, some of the MAC girls actually wear this on their entire face, like when they're going out. For real? Because the coverage is so beautiful and it's very velvety and it does look like that really complete coverage, mm -hmm. but it doesn't look texturally heavy. Okay. So it is a concealer, but on a special occasion, maybe you're going to a wedding, maybe you're going out dancing, this is the one that you could actually put on your entire face. Or we even uh, carry the actual uh, product in a full size, and we call it Pro Longwear Foundation. So we're doing a shade called NC42, which means that basically it's neutral, it's got some gold in it, and 42 describes sort of how far up the uh, shade range you are. And we're using this with the Pro Performance sponge and just blending it right out of the eye space. But again, keeping it really light and making sure that it doesn't start looking heavy or textural. So it's just staying really, really quite beautiful. Okay, look at the So one of my favorite things about the new PAL store is that we have a private makeup room. Um, so cool. Yeah, so I think sometimes in the past when you know, obviously if you're on your lunch break, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna get a quick little touch up or something, or maybe you just wanna pick out a new lipstick. Mm -hmm. um, but what's great about the new store is we have this really chic sort of plush uh, private makeup room in the back, mm -hmm. so that if you actually do wanna book an appointment um, and access one of our application services, that's something new at the store, which is great. That's cool. So 
all of the pro products are available here at this store. Correct, yeah. Correct. So Great. in total, Mac actually has 1,700 different SKUs or different products that we sell, mm -hmm. um, which is hundreds more than a typical Mac location because mm -hmm. it's a Mac Pro store. Anywhere from body painting items to glitters to airbrushing, so a lot of special stuff here at the store. So anything that you could ever want from Mac. Yeah, if you can imagine store, it. You'll find it here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Clothes. And then of course we have the Bay Area's best makeup artists actually working at the store. Um, so what's great is we have our elite artistry team. And in, at the store we have 45 artists, 12 different languages are spoken by the uh, artists working here at the store. That is so cool. Yeah, so we've become quite the global sort of uh, makeup brand here in San Francisco on Powell Street. That's awesome. And it's kind of located in the central space. So that you know, if you're visiting San Francisco, you don't, you know, if you're just here for like a week or the weekend, and um, you can just pop by and like get a makeover and Off somebody, you go. Enjoy yeah. the city. <laughs> I mean, that's so cool though that like you can find somebody here who speaks your language and not be like bewildered, like oh, I don't know what, what's going. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just exactly. really cool. So what are we using now? So we're using our mineralized skin finish in natural, and this is basically I'm using two shades. I mean, the makeup artist in me can't help it, mm -hmm. but I love to mix things. So I think you know, it's. We're always about mixing here at MAC. Um, so I'm using a lighter shade and a deeper shade. And this is the mineralized skin finish. What's kind of special about this is basically it's 77 real natural minerals from the earth um, that we've combined in this product to basically make the most light, beautiful, realistic powder. Mm -hmm. So that when you set your skin, you don't end up looking sort of talky or topical or powdery. It really leaves your skin looking real. So for me as a makeup artist, I like to actually do skin completely first. Um, so that, you know, when your skin looks good, you feel good, and you're apt to either wear more makeup or less makeup because your skin looks so amazing. Yeah, and if you run out of time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Throw on some <laughs> mascara and your off you go. Done, yeah. Yes. So when your skin looks amazing, then we just, you know, sometimes you don't even need as much makeup as you thought you did. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So in the vein of skin, I think we're gonna use a little bit of blush, and in this case, we're gonna use Peachy Keen. Okay. So Peachy Keen is a beautiful peach, <laughs> but it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. So as you're sitting here smiling, I'm gonna actually sort of buff it into uh, the apples of your cheek to not only deposit a little bit of nice fresh color, but because of the sheen, it gives you a little bit of that celebrity sort of red carpet, um, you know, that beautiful glowy skin. Love that. But what's nice is it's not sparkly sparkly, so if you do wear it, um, you don't end up looking like you have a disco frost on. <laughs> I mean, there's a time and a place for that. Well, but, true. Yeah. Let's not, you know, knock a disco frost. So I'm going to use a little bit of Max Bronzer. This is called Bronze Bronzer, and I'm actually using our number 116 brush, um, one of my favorite tools. And basically I've loaded the brush on one side, mm -hmm. and I'm running the tool underneath your cheekbone so that as you turn, you can really sculpt in that gorgeous cheekbone. Um, while also kind of creating a nice tan on the skin. Places to bronze are always along the crown of the forehead, right here on the top. Okay. Um, the back of the cheekbones blending forward. You can kiss the chin a little bit here, and if you go really tan, just make sure to kind of address this light area under the neck so that you don't end up with a tan face and a light oh, neck. Oh, yeah. So sometimes I run down a little bit right here, just so that everything has a nice fluidity to it. It's nice to have all those like fine details, you know, in there. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? And then right here, uh, no smiling. Mm. Okay, there, oh, there we go. Look at that cheekbone. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're going right underneath the cheekbone with the 116 brush and really just sculpting the face. It's a great, easy way to bring out the features. Okay. okay. So at this point, I want you to check out your skin. Tell me what you think. Ooh. It's good, right? Yay. You look natural. You definitely have a little bit of coverage on. Um, but it's not too much. It no. looks really, really beautiful. This is how I wish I woke up with you. You know, if I rolled out of bed, I wish like I looked like this. Oh not going to lie. Well, <laughs> you can lie and tell everyone this is how you just woke up. <laughs> with a little help from Mac. Okay. It's a little bit more blush. Oops, not that much. Goodness. There we go. So the 116 is a great tool um, just because it's so soft that it really does sort of airbrush out your finishes, blurs the lines so that things don't look too, too, too heavy. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And let's do some eyes. For the eyes. 
All right, so we're gonna use a product called Lay and Low, and Lay and Low for Mac is a paint pot. And what this basically means is I'm gonna use it sort of like a like a primer, if you will, for your eyeshadow. Okay. Um, it's a very neutral color. I'm gonna use it with our number 217 brush, which is a nice medium fluffy brush for Mac. And if you close for me, what this is gonna do is because this product is a cream eyeshadow that dries down to a crease-proof, smudge-proof, waterproof finish, as you apply eyeshadows on top, they sort of lock into that crease-proof, smudge-proof, waterproof um, idea. So if you have problems with creasing, if you have problems sometimes with um, eyeshadows not sticking and looking vivid enough, you can start with one of these MAC paint pots and um, yeah, it'll really lock down the shadows and make them look really, really gorgeous. So we're not using this for concealing purposes, we're really using this kind of like an eyeshadow primer. And this will make sure everything goes on really, really bright and lovely. I think um, eye makeup is something that a lot of women um, want to learn a little bit more of. If I wanted to come in here and learn a new technique, could I just pop in and like, um, learn and get a lesson from one of the artists. Yeah, absolutely, exactly. So, I mean, there's different ways of doing it. If you're popping in and you just need to like, you know, be matched up with the lipstick or eyeliner, just come on in. Mm -hmm. But I really think what's fun is that the new makeup services in the back that are private, mm -hmm. you can really actually have a makeup lesson booked where you show up at a particular time, you have one of our talented MAC makeup artists actually spend an hour and a half with you mm -hmm. doing a lesson, mm -hmm. um, where by the end you really learn actually how to do your makeup like the MAC girls. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. so it's a really great <laughs> service. And what's fun is that it's private. Um, there's also two stations, so if you have like a girlfriend and oh, the two of you guys fun. want to come in, yeah. so yeah, we definitely want it to be a destination for people to actually pamper themselves like a spa. Fun, you guys. Okay, so what I'm using is I'm using our number 252 brush and I'm using rice paper eyeshadow. And rice paper is a neutral highlighter, but it's got a bit of a sheen and it's got a little bit of a, um, you know, like almost like a corn sort of silk beautiful sort of neutral, um, sort of naturalness to it. I love that shade, one of yeah. my favorites. Okay, good, <laughs> nice. So I'm using a few things you already have and then hopefully we'll uh, show you a few things that you haven't tried yet. All right, and we'll blend this right down. And this is the 252. And why, why I like this tool is that it's actually shaped kind of like a paddle. So it actually mimics the shape of underneath your eyebrow, and it also mimics the shape of across the eyelid, um, which is really easy. So it almost does the sort of makeup artist work for you. <laughs> so it's very easy to use. I love anything that makes my, you know, my little job easier when I'm putting on my makeup in the morning. Absolutely. You know? Okay, so we're gonna go into a color from Mac called Texture, uh, and Texture is gonna be applied today with the number 242, or rather 224 brush. <laughs> Uh, and this brush is really iconic for Mac, so it's the one that kind of slips right into your socket or your crease. Mm -hmm. You go back and forth and it does all the blending for you. All right. So, we've loaded up the tool, and we'll actually have you look kind of straight ahead, maybe a little down. So if you're doing your makeup at home, you can even look into a compact. And we're going back and forth in the socket of your eye. Back and forth like this, and then we're gonna do little circles, almost like we're applying bronzer or blush, those same little circles, but in a tight formation on the outside of the eye, and it's gonna apply the perfect amount of MAC texture. And this is a beautiful sun-kissed, sort of romantic, beautiful candlelit brown. So it's very, very soft, quite gorgeous. And I like to build up my makeups in layers, so I think the, a common mistake with makeup is that people, they know they want a smoky eye, they know they want a bright eye, <laughs> and they try to do it all in one sort of swoosh. Um, so makeup looks a little bit more seamless, if you build it up in small layers. Hear that, you guys? Layers. Layers. Layer Let's one see. should be soft. Layer two can be a little bit more dramatic, and then you can do a third layer right on the corner. Yeah. And uh, if you can see, like, just if you look in your mirror, you'll see that it's built it up really oh, beautifully. Oh yeah, pretty. Yeah. All right, and maybe one little layer here that pulls you up to the side. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and looking straight ahead. And all of this is working great in conjunction with the paint pot that we started laying low. Um, and it's really just helping everything go on true to what you see in the pot so that you don't have to struggle too much to build up your colors. And this is also gonna wear a really long time because of using the primer. Beautiful. So 
back and forth, and then lots of circles. It's all about the circles. I think a lot of people have mastered this, mm -hmm. but it's really about mastering these beautiful circles, and that's kind of what gives you that makeup artist blend. It's nice to get all these like technique tips and ideas, you know? Because I feel really like sometimes, cool. I know when I first started wearing makeup, I, would, I got my brushes out and I felt like so fancy. But then I really had no idea what I was doing. I mean, it's just kind of really cool to learn all these things. And you can do that, guys, when you come in. Absolutely. <laughs> it's all about, you know, it's like, you know, our MAC brushes really make it like the makeup artist is coming home with you. Mm -hmm. So you can't beat a good makeup tool. Okay, so we're going to use a MAC pigment. Um, this one's called Heritage Rouge. Ooh. Yes, like Moulin Rouge, <laughs> but Heritage Rouge. Um, and it's a beautiful burgundy. So it's going to be kind of fun for across the lid. I don't want to go too crazy, but just enough where we give you a little accent color. Okay. You know, right. I don't think I've ever used that shade before. Nice. Well, something new for Yay. the girl who has everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll use the Heritage Rouge. Um, and basically, hold on, let's make sure we don't get a, make a mess here, but it's going to be a beautiful burgundy. <laughs> All right. Put it down. I know some people get intimidated when they see the pigments, you know? Yeah, I think the thing with our pigments is that, if you notice, they are a little, because they're loose and they're pure makeup pigment, you want to make sure that you're really using them delicately and not using too, too much of them. Okay. So, we're going to build this right above and going all the way across your eyelid to give you a beautiful, smoky, burgundy accent. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So we'll do the other eye here. And close. So right across the lid, it's almost as if, uh, as if I'm massaging it into your eyelid. So we have that beautiful paint pot and we're massaging the Heritage Rouge right across that eyelid. And this is a gorgeous color. Alright. Do you have a favorite pigment? You know, I'm a big fan of this one, and I'm a big fan of our vanilla pigment. Because yeah. it's so universal, it goes with everyone. Um, and you could actually use it on the body, you can use it on the face, you can mix it into lip glosses, so it's absolutely gorgeous. Alright, so why don't you check that out? Ooh, fun! Yeah, it's gorgeous, right? <laughs> um, and it's quite natural, so you're looking a little smoky, but it's not over the top. So mm -hmm. I think it like, you know, quite suits you. Um, let's blend this out with our number 286. So you are, uh, you're one of the first people in the whole store in the first makeover. Yay! Straight ahead. Beautiful. So I think for something new and fun, I'm going to do actually a reverse type liner on you. So I'm going to use a little bit of our super slick liner, okay. and it's in a gold. Okay. Um, now what I want you to do is look down into your mirror while I apply this okay. so that it actually doesn't transfer. Okay. Because if it transfers, then it's going to be stuck there because this is a crease-proof, smudge-proof, waterproof eyeliner. Got it. Yeah. Handy trick to use, you guys, when you're, using your, when you're applying your liquid liner, look down into your mirror. Yes. So look down in the mirror here. And instead of doing a top liner in black, we're actually going to do a gold liner that will give you a fun bit of a sparkle. So something different, a way that you can use liner without having to always do black on the top. And in some ways, this little flare of sparkle actually has more impact than using a black liner because it's going to really catch the attention with the shimmer and the metallic. So keep looking down, that takes about a minute to dry. So you're using an, uh, a, an angle brush to apply that? Yes, I'm using the number 266, cool. and the actual shade is called Pure Show. And it's one of my favorite little tricks to creating a little bit of flair, is just using a reverse liner, if you will. So we are lining, but we're lining with a light color on top of a dark lid, rather than always having to go dark, dark, dark. So I'm gonna add a second layer of this to really kind of give it some flair. And this is called Pure Show, and it's a gold, gorgeous sparkle. And again, it's a waterproof, super slick liner. 
So second layer really gets it to that really pure gold. Oh, there goes a the cable car. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Ding. <laughs> All right. You know, what's kind of incredible is that Mac opened up our very first San Francisco Mac store 20 years ago in two, uh, 94 huh. on Union Street. Yeah. It was the very first Northwest Mac store. And here we are 20 years later uh, and we now have this gorgeous uh, Powell Street cable car turnaround pro store. Yeah. And this, of course, is Mac's 30th uh, birthday as a brand. I didn't here? know that. Yeah, the brand was created in 1984, so we are officially 30 years old and look fabulous, don't we? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so check it out. Now you have your reverse liner. What do you think of it? I love it. I love it. It's got that um, hint of like sparkle and it's just really cool. It's, it's just something different. different. I think something different for when you go out so that everyone can see your gold sparkly eyelids. Yay! I love that. <laughs> All right, let me see the transfer. Look down. Oh, it transferred a little bit. It wasn't quite dry. So before that dries up, I'm just going to go and make sure I get rid of it for two seconds here with a Q-tip. There we go. See? Easy fixes, guys. Exactly. You don't have to panic. Don't panic. <laughs> All right. So let's fill in your brows. Okay. And I'm going to grab my brush. I'll be right back. Sorry. Dance break. Dance break. Dance break in the mat. Trying to behave, it's really hard. Okay. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> so we're gonna do your brows, but I think what would be nice is uh, using them with a pencil brush rather than an angle brush. All right. What this deposits is a little bit more of a natural look to the brow as opposed to that really sort of crisp, drawn on eyebrow. Okay. So using a pencil brush, this is the MAC number 219 brush. And it's just going to give you a soft definition as opposed to, like I said, drawing them on like they're sort of um, animated. <laughs> so we're going to give you just that really, really natural look to them where you're just tinting. It's like you're tinting the skin underneath the brow hairs. And that makes the brow look cooler, more defined, but in a really, really realistic, natural way. Okay, so inside the waterline of your eye, I'm gonna use uh, something that's only carried here at Mac Pro, and it's a chromographic pencil called okay. Black Black. All right. Um, and it's truly the blackest of blacks, and it's waterproof, creaseproof, smudgeproof, so it's a great tool to really get that black, smoky eye. And those little bits that sometimes fall out of the waterline of the eye, I'm gonna use those to my advantage. And with the number 239 brush, I'm turning that instantly into a smoky eye for you. So that's a product you can only get here. At Mac Pro, exactly. A little extra mascara on the top with the 205 fan tool. This is a great brush for people who are enthusiasts of makeup because I find that people actually, a lot of people don't have this brush. So, look over here. If you have a friend that loves makeup and they have everything, this is the brush to get them. <laughs> Noted. Add that to your wish list. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. And then I think the last little bit of, um, let me use just a tad of this rice paper eyeshadow on the inner portion of your eye. So this was the highlighter color, and if you use it on the inner portion of the eye, it gives that little light bulb effect where it really brightens up this area. So just a tad of rice paper eyeshadow on the inner portion of the eye. Beautiful. So check out your eyes. Let me know what you think. Love it. Love. You guys, see how like sparkly it is, and it's just, it's kind of different, I love it. Yeah, it's something new. You know, I've, I've seen you do so many looks on Makeup and Beauty Blog that <laughs> um, I was like, what hasn't she done yet? <laughs> and you haven't done a reverse liner, so here's something new. Yay, I have enough work this into my uh, regular routine. I love it. All right, we'll have to see what your viewers think. And you guys, if you end up trying this look, please, you know, Tweet me your pics or, you know, send it to me in the email. Um, I'm on Twitter. Also, Victor's on Twitter. Yes. I'll have all of the links below so you can check that out. Perfect. Uh, and that leaves us with a lip. Are you ready? Almost done. Perfect. <laughs> you know, at this time, too, if you're looking for a fun trick, I like to do, um, sometimes put on a little extra concealer. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do just a little bit of our Pro Longwear again. Um, and that's just in case, you know, anything fell underneath the eye. You can just lightly buff through a little extra coverage. So look up at the ceiling. 
just a little extra sort of blast out. <laughs> that sort of airbrush look underneath the eye, we love that. And I think we'll use something that's really special, which is our luster drops. Um, our luster drops we're gonna use as a highlighter on your skin. Okay. And they're a liquid highlighter. And it's a fantastic option instead of having to do powdery highlighters on the outside of your eye, uh, I'm sorry, on the outside of your cheekbones, you can use a liquid, which is gorgeous. I know some people are like, they're kind of, they see that product and they're like, oh. What do I do? Yeah. Yeah, so what it's nice, uh, what's nice about it is that sometimes when you use shadows, they can look a little dry or sometimes they can look a little too sparkly, so the luster drops really mimic the look of skin. Okay. So this is still, I'm just touching you up with a little concealer at the end since we're getting toward the finish of our makeup. And these are the luster drops right here. So it's a beautiful gold sparkle. This one's called Sun Rush. Okay. And you can either use it with one of these flat foundation brushes. You can use it with your finger, but we're just gonna tap in a little extra sheen. So I think what we'll do is have you turn this way and right on the high cheekbones, we're gonna tap in that beautiful glowy sheen. And because it's liquidy, it just stays really fresh, really authentic. You can barely tell it's there. And it gives you that beautiful, I just call it the J-Lo glow. Something I'm always striving for, not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> well, me too, huh? I think we all want to look like J-Lo. Look up at the ceiling. Perfect. And as you smile, I'm even gonna tap it onto the apples of the cheeks. It just gives you that gorgeous sheen. Put a little on the chin, maybe on like the bridge of the nose. So all about the luster drops for that instant dew, like that humidity, like just like you've gotten a facial, you have that beautiful sort of sheeny, gorgeous, spa-like skin. Okay, so we're gonna use this uh, lip liner called Staunchly Stylish. Okay. Staunchly Stylish, it's hard to say. Um, but what's great is I'm really back into lip liner. I really like the lip treatment at this point where we were doing so much on the eyes for so many seasons, for so many years, that it's fun to see lips come back, but a really nice completed lip. So lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss, it's all about a really, really, um, you know, how you're sort of styling your lip to your personality. So don't cut corners, actually spend a good three or four minutes on perfect lips because people will notice. Beautiful, staunchly stylus. Um, and what's great about this is this is one of our long-wearing lip liners. And I'm gonna overdraw your lip a little bit for fun. Okay. So tell, um, what's overdrawn again for the people who don't? Uh, well, meaning really you, makeup and yeah, you have your normal lip line, and it's okay to lightly overdraw the top portion of your lip or even the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, but where people went wrong, for instance, in the 90s, is we would overdraw, but then we would leave it really just lined looking. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to overdraw a little bit. Like right now, I'm above your lip line, but um, as long as you shade it sort of down, then people can't tell that you've obviously overdrawn your lip a little bit. So make sure you do these little dashes that shade the pencil in, rather than just leaving a lip line. Okay, got it. Okay. And with this long wearing lip pencil, it's gonna help because it's not gonna feather. The staunchly stylish uh, is really neutral, so it takes on browns, it can take on pink colors, it can take on peaches. So I think we're gonna go in a peach direction for you. Oh, I like that little smile, sometimes it helps. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so yeah, I think I need that in my life too. Add another one, one to the wish list. Staunchly stylish lip liner. Not the easiest thing to say, but hey, that's not gonna stop me. It's getting really busy in here, kinda cool. Okay, so we're gonna use, let me find my lip brush. We're gonna use uh, a lipstick called Blossom Couture. Okay. And this is a really, really beautiful, sheeny lipstick, meaning that it has lots of extra moisturizers in it. Um, so think of a lipstick that's almost halfway between a lip conditioner mm -hmm. and a lipstick itself. Nice. So you could either wear it with gloss, you can wear it by itself, but I noticed that your lips are just a little dehydrated. They're always that way, it's a struggle. You guys, I know, I'm always talking about this, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, what's great is that basically if you have a dehydrated lip, like my sister always has dry lips, 
and I um, give her these type of lipsticks and she's like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm wearing some sort of like chapsticky lip conditioner, but then she gets the benefits from the color as well. And this is called Blossom Couture. It's a beautiful peach. It's almost reminiscent of those sort of beach bunnies from those like, you know, Elvis movies or those like, you know, those beach bombshell movies. Mm -hmm. So it just reminds me of a, it's got a little bit of a 60s kind of flair to it. So it's really feminine, really great for spring, and really easy just to throw on and go. And this just really brightens you up. But I think just, you know, for the whole lip treatment effect, we're gonna actually put a little bit of lip gloss on top and just give you the real good lip for spring. All right, so you can lightly pat your lips together. Gorgeous, I mean, you could be done right there. I've been looking for a good lip combo. We're spraying a new one, so yay, think I found it. And then I think what we'll do is we're gonna cap this with Persistent Peach, which is one of our Pro Longwear lip glasses. And Pro Longwear, the concept of something long wearing but a lip gloss is kind of foreign to people. Mm -hmm. But we actually figured out a MAC a formula that's lip gloss, uh, but you can actually wear it for hours and hours as opposed to lip glosses that fall right off your lips. Yeah. So oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, it's gorgeous, right? So I'm dipping in here just to make sure we're nice and sanitary. I'm kind of and excited. Why we love each other is because you and I we get excited about lip gloss. Right. <laughs> so right in the center of the lip, just to add a little extra flair to the lip and a little completeness to that gorgeous color. We're just throwing this right in the center with the Pro Longwear lip gloss. And I'm going all the way up to the top of the lip so you get that really nice pouty full lip. Absolutely wonderful. So yeah, you know, I mean, my advice to your viewers is if, if they are in San Francisco, book a private makeup appointment. I think it's so much fun to actually be like in the, the secret back portion of the new Mac yeah. store. <laughs> have an hour, we have hour appointments, um, and then we have hour and a half appointments that you can book. Okay. So just call in advance, and we'll actually have someone waiting for you, one of our talented makeup artists, and we have our elite makeup artists from San Francisco working in this store, um, so that you can actually learn exactly how to do your makeup, where you can, you know, go out for a special occasion, if you're going to a wedding, if you're going out to a special dinner, might as well have some blocked up time for you and have a pro do your makeup. Yeah. All right, so I gotta tell you, I mean, for me, my aesthetic, this is the perfect amount of makeup for you. We can even zhuzh the hair. Gorgeous. Check it out, how do you feel? Love. Yeah. No, seriously. It's gorgeous. Something different, a little bit funky with the liner, um, but you still look like you, just with a little extra kind of kick for going out. Love this kind of look, you guys. Wow. This is the final look, and I kind of sort of love it. Yes. The gold liner, like the springy, peachy lip, and this has been a really great picture. You know, you guys come in to the store at 45 Powell Street in San Francisco, get your makeup done, yeah. learn some new techniques, you know, bring a girlfriend and like, have lunch or brunch before or after and make a day out of it. Have a Ride a fun. cable car. For sure. <laughs> the, whole bit, the San Francisco experience yes. is um, definitely involves coming to Powell Street, I say. Yeah, so you guys, um, thank you again for watching and thank you, Victor, for hosting us and teaching us all these great things. And um, see you guys yeah, soon. Yeah, we'll see you soon at the Pro Store. I'm Bye. <laughs> yeah, just taking a quick selfie because that's yep. how we roll. One, two, three. One more. One, two. <laughs> oh my god, blooper, blooper reel. Okay. <laughs> you go first. Okay.